down to the beach today. Still a little bit windy, but good to get the kids out for the summer holidays. You can see this is normally empty. Jam packed everywhere is jam packed here. And all the camper vans. Hi Zoe. Say hello. 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 Obi want to do the video? Yeah. Is Zoe going to the beach? Yeah. As you can hear, Zoe still a bit rough on the throat. A bit of advice, if you're coming to La Mata, is the beach on that side of the canal, this bit here on the right, has a lot of like seaweed and algae and stuff. The stuff on this side, if you go a little bit further down, you can actually swim without tripping over the stuff. Because um, the problem you get is because it's uneven, you step in the water and you suddenly drop a foot because you've found a hole but you can't tell because you're walking on like the seaweed. Surfboarding is quite a big thing here. Also you get the uh, windsurfers with the, with the kite surfing. This is all protected here and these apartments here were recently finished. Um, in fact, I'll get hold of some photos and I'll put these up because there, there is some apartments there for sale. The, they are a bit more expensive than a lot of the other properties in La Mata, but it's, it's the, the last line to the beach because none of this can be developed on. Somebody fishing. Funny thing with fishing, you need to have a rod license for fishing in the sea or in fresh water. I think it's for the whole of this region, but each area is slightly different. But everyone I know doesn't actually have a permit or license, so <laughs> I don't know how well it gets enforced. So you can see the sand dunes are pretty huge here. And like I said, none of that can be constructed on, this is why these apartments here, um, they're on the front. There is no space to actually construct anymore. I think that's the last one for La Mata. This, this close to the beach and this close to the sand dunes because you can't build in front of them. But you can see how clear the water is down here. Isn't it? Got a little plane coming past as well. I've got stuff to need to do the next few days work-wise, but kids are on holiday, so I'm just going to chill out for a bit and I'll pick it up in the evenings or later in the week. There's a few new restaurants opened up in Lamata as well. We had a nice Indian the other night. I have 34, 34 euros. So I'd actually say for what we bought, it's probably a bit more expensive than I normally pay in the UK. But hey, we're in, the, we're in a tourist spot in, in holiday season, what do we expect? Now we'll start walking down the water here. As you can see, the beach is quite busy. But in other parts, you'll find it's sort of overrun. You know, there's not, not a place to sit. You know, you see that in the sort of uh, Benidorm pictures, where if you stand up, somebody will sit where you were sitting. But here, there's still tons of beach. Now this will be our first trip into the water. Oh, that's that's warm, Ubi. Is that warm? Cold. How cold? Too cold. So cold. Yeah, it's so bad cold. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> we'll go a bit further down, it's a bit cleaner, you know, it's a bit clearer. Oh, and this bit here, this rock in the middle, will be called it will be island. Obi. Obi, there's your island. I don't know if I walk in that today, it's freezing. I see some fish though, did you see the fish? Wow, somebody made that. Don't break it. Here be your phone. I was just getting a, a bit of beach with no crap on it. You know it. Stop here then. <laughs>